see. Do not disturb. Turn on. Okay. So while we wait for more people to come chat with us about the new local worsted update, um, I thought I would tell you a story. It's fast. Um, but we decided to go cherry picking today. So, uh, cause we live in Northern Michigan, so it's cherry season. So we went cherry picking and, um, it was really cute cause they gave each of my kiddos like a little bucket and then we were walking around picking cherries and then we got a bunch. And so, uh, they weigh how many you picked and then that's how much you pay. So, um, they weighed it and before the guy weighed it, he's like, I need you guys to guess, guess how much, how many pounds this is. So, um, he let us each hold it and then I guessed six pounds and then my daughter guessed seven pounds cause she's that person and um he weighed it and it was six pounds exactly I'm never good at that stuff and I've never won anything and I still didn't win anything but it felt good because I, I was right it was six pounds so um I guess I'll start I'm gonna talk about local worsted what I have here coming in the update tomorrow night at seven o'clock eastern time um so I'll give you a little background on local worsted for local worsted um there's a mill about 40 minutes away from my house and I love going to see what they have there, but they actually have this amazing worsted weight yarn that they spin at that um, at the farm, and so or at the mill. So um, we I go and I buy boxes of it, and then what I do is I end up saving my dye stock when I dye my normal colors. Like I have like this is Death Store. I'll save any leftover dye stock from the speckle powder or maybe from any colors that I've used. I'll save all the dye powder in a jar. And then when I have enough in the jar to be able to dye an entire skein of yarn, I pour it onto my local worsted yarn and then that's it. So all the local worsted skeins are a hundred percent, um, one of a kind colors. They're not repeatable. I can't, I mean, I would almost call them happy accidents cause I can't repeat exactly what I did to make these colors. So not only are they local, they're from like, they're made locally in Michigan about half an hour away from my house. Um, I also, all the colors are completely just one of a kind because I, there's no way I could repeat this. And then the other thing that I love about local worsted is if I'm dyeing yarn, like one of my typical, here I'll show you, one of my typical colorways, this is Aurora, I will save the dye stock from this rather than just tossing it down the drain, which is terrible. I will combine all the leftover stuff in a big jar. I like, it's so funny if you see my local worsted cabinet back there. It's filled with like empty spaghetti sauce jars or jam jars or soda jars. And um, it's just filled with different beautiful colors. So I'll take the leftover dye stock from Aurora or whatever, and then I'll pour it on this local worsted. So it's all one of a kind, it's all local. And then it makes me feel a little bit, um, I don't know, economical, but also a little bit more ethical because I'm not putting the dye down the sink. I'm actually reusing it. So that is the story behind local worsted. Also, it's actually, um, the skeins are bigger, they weigh more, and there's more yardage than your average uh, worsted yarn, or skein of worsted yarn. So each local worsted skein is about 112 grams and it's 250 yards. So it's just, it's just wonderful. And it's a non-super wash. And some non-super washes, I mean, I know some people love it and some people don't like it. I love this particular non superwash because it's such it just has such a nice feel and when you're knitting with it it's so beautiful it looks so nice so as um, I show you all of these colors feel free to ask questions there's a little question there's a question mark at the bottom of the screen you can tap that and if you have any questions about my process or local worsted or if you want to see a color I just showed and you want to see it again just um, let me know I see you guys waving that's so cute let's wave back wave wave Okay, so I'm gonna start. Um, this one is called French Sky. It's beautiful. It's a really, really nice blue, but it's a, it's not purple, but it's kind of a, it's on the purpley side of blue. And I, call, I named it French Sky, and it uses speckles from my favorite speckle color. So I use my favorite speckle color. It's this really beautiful midnight blue. I use it in Wonderland. I use it in Aurora, Blarney, my favorite things. One day I thought, oh my gosh, I should just save speckle dust from that speckle color and make a color. And oh my, it's so beautiful. The actual speckle color is a deep, deep dark blue, um, but dyed like this, really um, diluted. It's just this lovely, lovely French sky blue. 
The next color, if you um, know anything about Michigan, my husband named this color. Um, we named it Pictured Rocks because Pictured Rocks is this famous place up in the UP. Um, I think it's like a sandstone cliff area. I haven't been there. It's my husband's, um, it's on his bucket list. He wants to go because he's a geology professor. So all things rocks and natural landforms is really his thing. So this is Pictured Rocks. And um, I used Marking Time, which is, oh, I actually have one right here. This is marking time. So I use marking time for this, as well as um, if you follow Wool and Honey, I did a special thing for them, like a one of a kind collaboration for them. And so this is part of that. I did a snowy owl, which came out in December for the yarn club. So this part snowy owl, part marking time. And this, it's like, it's really pretty to mix with colors. So on my website right now, I have a bunch of colors that I love together. So I've taken pictures of them, giving you, hi Andrea. I've given you ideas for what you could use to mix them. So this one I have in a bunch of pictures and you can see how you wanna mix orange because sometimes orange is tricky, but I love it. This one is quite possibly my favorite from this collection. It's called My Favorite Tea because it's a gray blue and you know you have your fa hybrid. You have your favorite um, t-shirt that you wear when you're not leaving the house and you're just gonna sit and read or sit and knit or just bake bread or take a nap. I don't know, paint your nails. But this to me, I named it my favorite tea because like my favorite shirts when I just want to hang out but also look cute are this color. So my favorite tea, I used a bunch of colors. I used Lupin, I used Stormy Weather, Linger, and Gray Chic. So this is just, I don't know. I feel like your favorite tea can kind of be an understated thing and maybe this yarn is understated but it's so comforting and I just love this one. And now my next is called Flirty Lilac so you can probably guess what color it's going to be. This is my favorite purple of the entire update this week. Um, and I made it using Barracuda, Once Upon a Dream, which I have not yet released yet. If you've shopped the Firefly Fiber Arts trunk show, this is, um, Once Upon a Dream is from their trunk show. And I will, I think I'm gonna be releasing it next, next month in, oh gosh, it's still, it's still July, probably in September. Um, but I use that, I use Barracuda, Once Upon a Dream, Aurora, and Razzleberry. And then, I think this one is such a fun, cute little one. It's called Shell. I used Watermelon and Cottage, which is another one I haven't released yet, but it's at that trunk show. Um, I'll be releasing that one in September too. But it's just like a, I would say it's definitely a light pink, but it's kind of a, a flirty, not boring, not romantic light pink. It's like a fun, almost a corally light pink. So this is called Shell. Shell is great. And then, We've got chestnut, and chestnut is such, I mean, obviously it's brown, but it's such a deep, beautiful brown. I made this using Snowy Owl, which was that one of a kind yarn I did for Wool, for wool and Honey in Marking Time. And I have so many pictures on my website of how to match chestnut because it's such a beautiful, beautiful, contrasting color. So chestnut, we're good there. And then I have Ice Queen. And this is Aurora, the one I showed you two seconds ago, and Tonks. It's just this beautiful, beautiful icy purple. It's one of my favorites, and I almost every update that I do for Local Worsted, I think this is my third one this year, because I can't do it very often. It takes me forever to save up yarn, or to save up um, dye, to dye enough for all these skeins. So this one, I always usually will have an, a light purple like this in my shop, and it kind of varies in tone, but this is Ice Queen this time. And then I've got here, this one is called Alex, and I made Alex using Death's Door and Wonderland. So it's just kind of a really nice green, but I would say it's a little bit of a blue green, not a yellow green, it reads a little bit more blue. And then here, I think this, this name is one of my favorites. This one is called Lippy, and Lippy, I used Wonderland, Barracuda, and Tonks. So it's just like a real nice, blushy, sassy, pink, oh, also, you know when you go to the store and you buy a lipstick and then you open the lipstick tube and it's perfect and no one's used it? So this room, this color reminds me of that perfect tube of lipstick. So this is lippy. And then this one is called Poisoned Apple. It's really, really bright. It's not neon, but it is quite bright. Poisoned Apple's really fun. I like to contrast it with pinks and purples just because I love pink and green and purple together. Um, Poison Apple is Wonder Woman, I'm sorry, <laughs> Wonderland, Lupin, and Blarney. So it's a really fun green. 
And then every update I will do something, I'll do um, a color, it's not National Lipstick Day, is it? That's so cool. Um, but every update I will do something from my favorite things, which is one of my colors where it's a gray base and then there's speckles all over. There's like four or five different speckle colors and it makes a huge, huge mess. It's my hardest yarn to dye because not only am I just dyeing the base of the yarn, I'm also speckling it with a ton of different colors and it's really, really, really messy. Wow, everyone is telling me it is National Lipstick Day. That's super cool. I had no idea. So um, I always save the dye stock from my favorite things because it makes the most beautiful dark purple, dark purple yarns. And this time I wanted to do a yarn experiment. So usually when you dye yarn, you soak the skein in water first, just clear water, and then you put it into the dye pot. For um, this yarn experiment I wanted to do, I actually put it in dry. So this one is called Bright Copper Kettles. It's a really nice deep dark purple. And you can see it has darker streaks of purple on it. And that's because I didn't, I didn't soak it. I put it in dry in the pot of water, and as the water heated up, it started to slowly like pull in the water, the yarn from below. So the yarn on the bottom got really saturated and dark. And then the yarn on the top of the skein was really light because it didn't soak up the water yet. So the top of the yarn is lighter than the bottom. And it made this really, really beautiful variegated purple or like a really nice tonal purple. Yes, Andre, purple is my favorite color too. So then as I was dyeing this, I was like, the water in the pot is still really dark. I bet I could add another skein. So I did two skeins in the same pot. So I did this one, which is called Whiskers on Kittens. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Bright Copper Kettles. This is Warm Woolen Mittens from the song, My Favorite Things. So you can see, I don't know if you can tell, this is much darker than this one. Oh sorry, the bookstore was calling me. Do you wanna hear a funny story? Um, Kristen Bell, don't leave my live feed to go check it. Check it later. But Kristen Bell was just um, writing about her favorite bookstore and she tagged my bookstore, like not the one I own, but my local bookstore that I go to all the time. So I just told them and now they're calling me back, which is exciting. Anyway, this is Bright Copper Kettles. This is Warm Woolen Mittens. It was part of a really fun dyeing experiment, but I don't know, I really, really love how they turned out. And then the last two, I have this one called Silk Slipper. It's like super, super feminine pink, but it's not like a, it's not like a Valentine pink. It's just really, really nice and elegant. And I used this, or I used all the dye stock left over from Tempting Fate, which is the color I released most recently. It's a nice light purple with speckles all over it. So this is Silk Slipper. And the last one that I have is called Teal Breeze. And this one I used Death Store and Lupin. So it's like, it's similar to my favorite tea in this, and that's both light, but this is definitely blue and this one leads more, to, or leads more teal green. So that is all that I have for local worsted. That's going to be going in the shop update tomorrow at 7 p.m. my time, Eastern time. So figure out what time that is for you. Then I also wanted to show you what else I'm introducing to the shop tomorrow in the update. So I posted a video earlier this week about my new gold base, but this is Gilded Sock. I don't know if you can see, it's a gold glitter base. It's 80% ultra fine superwash merino. So the micron count is 19.5, which means that it's insanely soft. So it's that, and then it is 10% nylon and 5% gold Stellina. So it just has these beautiful, beautiful gold flecks in it. So I'm releasing this. I only ordered, I'm going to tell you the truth, I ordered 10, 10 skeins. I ordered two packs. When you order yarn, you get, usually it's five to a pack. I ordered two packs, so I only had 10, which means um, I didn't want to order a lot because what if nobody wanted it, but everyone's been really excited about this base. So if you like the gold, <laughs> Order the Gilded Sock. Get out at 7 p.m. tomorrow so that you can get one of these because um, I think they're going to sell out very quickly. I am gonna buy more, I'm gonna order more from my supplier, but it's gonna take a few weeks and I'm gonna dye new colors on this. So, Gilded Sock, that's coming tomorrow. And um, a new color that I, I guess it's an oldie but a goodie, I reworked it. So this color is coming tomorrow, it's called California Dreamin'. And, it's one of my favorite colors. It's one of the colors I had in my shop when I first started dyeing yarn, 
but I didn't know how to do speckles. I couldn't figure out how to do speckles. So what I did is, so California Dreamin', I'll actually open it so you can see. It's a really, really nice fade. So these are actually hand painted too, because this hand painting takes a long time, but with this yarn, it's really fun to do that. So you start with a dark, dark blue. Actually, this is the speckle. This is my favorite speckle color from French Sky. So you can see just with the dilution, it's different. So start really dark blue, fade to lighter, and then that goes to purple, to like a berry, and then it goes to hot pink, which goes to orange, which goes to yellow. So before, when I didn't know how to speckle, I would just make this end black, but sometimes the black would bleed and it wasn't my favorite. So when I finally figured out how to speckle like a champ, I um, decided, let's bring this back speckled instead of having a big black streak. So now it's all speckly and beautiful. And if you're wondering how this looks worked up, I've been working on a sock pattern because I have lots of really, really bright variegated colors. And sometimes it's hard to figure out what to knit with them. You wanna find a good stitch pattern that highlights the colors like in your pattern of your yarn because you spend all this money on a hand dyed yarn. You want it to look really nice. So I'm working on a new sock pattern that will highlight like texture. So it'll highlight the different stitches and the different colors. So this is it, and this is what um, California Dreamin' looks like, and this is actually on the Gilded Sock Base. It's really hard to show you the sparkles in here, the gold glitter, but it is in there. So this is what California Dreamin' looks, looks like worked up. So I think it's amazing for a sweater or accessories. I was actually putting it on, I'll show you, I have two socks going right now. I was putting it on as a sleeve, and look how cute it is. Do you see that? I love it. So, shop update is tomorrow at 7, my, 7 Eastern time. Um, whenever I've done a local worsted update, they go within 24 hours, they're all gone. So if you see anything that you love, definitely jump on that, add it to your cart. I'm gonna keep the, on my website right now, I have all the local worsted colors up so you can see them and I have pictures with them mixed together so you can see what colors look good together. I will be taking that down to probably tomorrow morning because I need to update it and add quantities for how much yarn I have. Right now it's just sold out. It's not sold out. I just haven't even put it in quantities yet. So check it tonight if you want to know what colors look good. And then um, everything else is going to be available at 7. So if you have any questions, if you want to see any colors again, just type it in the questions right there and I can, I'll answer what I can. While you guys are doing that, I'll show you some of my favorite color combinations. For the local worsted update, I love French Sky and Pictured Rocks together. And sometimes I'll throw in the brown, and I think it looks really nice. I also really like the brown with my favorite tea and shell. Isn't that pretty? Or you could do silk slipper. Um, and then I love this one. I just like purples and greens together. I think that's really nice with this light purple. Um, yeah, got some good stuff. So if you, if you don't get your questions in right now, that's fine. Just message me and I can respond to you, but that's what we've got. So I'm really excited for this. Um, yeah, I hope you have an amazing rest of your Wednesday and I will talk to you guys later.